Let me introduce myself. My name is Planet Earth. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm Planet Earth. And I have the privilege today of kicking off the Protein X Symposium 2021 and expressing to like-minded how I feel and hopefully getting heard from as many as possible with the intent to reach minds and souls that collectively are moved to take action that avoids for me to burn and die. What I care about you to know is that I'm massively challenged to feed 10 billion people by 2050. In fact, by 2050, you guys, the world's population will likely increase by more than 35%. And to feed that population, crop production will need to double. Why? Production would have so far outpaced population growth as developing world grows prosperous enough to eat more meat. But this equation does not work out as the way humankind has been running the food system. Unfortunately, I, Mother Earth, can no longer sustain. Greenhouse gases trap heat, causing the average surface temperature of the Earth yes, my skin, to heat up. The more gases there are, the more the temperature rises. And once greenhouse gases are in the atmosphere, 20% stay there for up to 10,000 years, a very long time. And by now, humankind got to a point of emitting 51 billion greenhouse gases emission per year, of which 20% account to how we grow things, agriculture and deforestation. And the only way out, the goal, is to get down to net zero greenhouse gas emissions to avoid sliding more into an environmental disaster. What is it humankind can do? Produce non-animal food derivatives such as plant-based proteins, biomass and precision fermentation, cultivated meat and other new ingredients. These are fundamental way to supplement protein in a diet with reduced resources and energy intensity per land, land area. There is a clear need to ensure that we feed the growing population in a sustainable way while also ensuring food security for all. Plant-based proteins are not just a smart option, but a necessity for me Mother Earth, to turn things around. Well, and ultimately, for you, humankind species, to survive. And this is a pleasure to introduce myself today. My name is Tommaso. A pleasure to represent here the Proteinix Foundation together with our team and ask all of us, how do we get to net zero greenhouse gas emission actually. In fact, consumers would only shift habits towards selecting plant-based products if no thinking is required when in front of the shelf. Is it plant-based, non-animal protein? Is it sustainable? As long as consumers have limited product cho choices and retail treats non-animal derivatives as trends, it'll be challenging to mass educate a responsible buying behavior towards products that play into a circular economy. And to get rapidly to a larger sustainable product offering, the ecosystem, us all together, need to supercharge food and bioscientists in academia to help transforming researches into viable product solution, to help bridging theoretical learnings into industry requirements and to expand academical know-how with entrepreneurial skill set. And ladies and gentlemen, that's where the Proteinix Foundation comes into play. Our mission is to foster scientifically meaningful, potentially transformative innovation and education projects in plant-based proteins, new ingredients, and sustainable packaging. And we do that with partnerships, in partnership with our AD Academy Institute worldwide, so that we can provide food and bio graduates and researchers resources to learn how to apply entrepreneurial skills 
good theories and I'll accelerate therefore the path to market for more solutions. And we go the extra mile. We gather the relevant players and enable collaborative missions between scientists, corporate executives, investors, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, urban planners, students, pharma, CEOs, government officials, chefs, etc. Now, the beauty of it is as a Proteinix Foundation, we provide academia access to market intelligence initiatives such as our documentary that you can see online, podcasts you can see and find online, or the symposium where faculty and students get free access. We provide as Proteinix Foundation science-focused academic partners with skills, guidance access, and funding to help move the needle from theory to market. Things like entrepreneurial programs, mentorship, access to industry and channel partners, and obviously grants and access to capital to get the resources and innovation funded. And last but not least, Proteinix provides scientists curated access to our corporate network to industry opportunities such as writing master thesis projects, internships, volunteer works, and jobs. And yes, Proteinix Foundation stands as the bridge between academia and the industry. And with that, I would like to welcome and thank all the attendees, all the speakers, and announce the next three days titles and agenda before I hand over to our host and moderator. On day one, expects you evidences for the viability of alternative proteins as a solution. On day two, tomorrow, same time, same place, 8.30 to noon, PST, food structuring process and plant-based and fermentation. And on day three, food structuring process in cell-based protein. 